Hey folks, I so hope this message and this movie finds you blessed. It is so germane right now that we should be talking about the whole armor of God, and I mean the entire armor. We never want to go outside of our homes without the entire armor of God as the children of God. And not only do we want to always make sure that we have on the full armor of God, but we want to help other people to be able to wear this same armor of God that Paul talks about. When Paul writes this letter to the church at Ephesus, they're having a problem with division. If you pay attention to the letter, all throughout the letter, Paul is trying to help them to understand that they are not to be divided. Right now, people don't understand. One of the worst things we have going on in our churches and in the world is division. People are divided, and some people don't even understand why they are divided. And some people are being told why they are divided. But at the end of the day, division, no one is born divided. No one is born with hate. People aren't even born with love. People are taught the things that they are taught. They are indoctrinated. So it's very important that we get the right information. And even these people at the church at Ephesus, they had been reborn. But you have to have your mind renewed and totally renewed. And sometimes there needs to be repetition in teaching so people can truly understand who they are and what their purpose is. And when we deal with the church at Ephesus, it is so powerful that in the first three chapters, Paul, he basically deals with doctrine. He wants to tell them what they should be doing. But then in the last three chapters, he begins to deal with application. He wants them to not only know what to do, but it's very important to tell people how to do it. And so when we get to chapter six, it is so powerful when he gets to the whole armor of God. This is an illustration that he's giving, a metaphoric illustration based on experience. You know, what God has allowed him to experience as he's being led by the Holy Spirit of God to communicate to them then and us today that we are in a spiritual battle. We are warriors. We are soldiers for God. And that if we're going to be in this battle, then we need to be equipped with the right armor and the right weapon so that we can battle not according to the flesh, but we can battle according to the spirit of God. So let's get into this and we'll reveal more as we go into Ephesians 16 through 20. Oh, yes, he is the truth. Oh, the I know he's, he is. yes, he is. 